Hi everyone! Today I wanted to share a haul with you guys that I got. It's just some stuff from Sephora. I ordered a couple things online and then I went into the store maybe like once or twice. I don't know, within the last month or so. If not, maybe a little bit longer. But I just kind of had some of the things I just kind of had sitting in the bag still. I hadn't really like tried out yet. So I figured why not share them with you guys. Just kind of like why I bought them or what I've heard about them. And some of them I have used. So I will kind of give like my thoughts and first impressions on those. And so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I'll go over is... So I got a new eyelash curler. I had one from Tarte and it broke, so I just needed another one. So I got that one. And then another repurchase that I got was the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara in the color black. This is my favorite mascara. The one that I had was really dried out, so I just went ahead and bought another one. Next, um, there's a couple of repurchase items in here, but I got this one. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I'm in the color Light Warm. This is my favorite concealer to wear. It's really full coverage. I, the color is perfect for me, so I just needed another one. I always run out of this because I like to use it for just like my concealer and then my, for my highlight too. So I did that, and then next product we have is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I got the Brow Definer. So I haven't tried this one before. I've always just used either the like Brow Duo powders, or I've used the the pomade, or I've also used the Brow Wiz. Um, but I, I was using the brow gel or the pomade and the one that I had was just a little bit dried out already so I, it was time to replace it. And a friend of mine, she recommended this one. She said that she really liked the brow definer and I had heard some pretty good reviews about it. I hadn't tried it so I figured perfect excuse to try it, right? So I got this one in the color dark brown. I can say that I do really like it. Um, I think the it says the, it's the triangular brow pencil. The little triangular tip I think really helps to really carve out your brows. Gives you a precise line, especially on the tail part. And I really like it too when you, um, you're able to do more like hair-like strokes, I feel like, especially when it comes to this inner corner for me. So I really like that so far. Let's see, next thing that I got is another concealer. It's the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I love the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. It's my favorite foundation. So when they came out with this, I was really excited to try it. Obviously, I didn't try it right away. I just bought this, but I got it in the color light. And I do have to say that I like it. The coverage is a little less, um, it's not as full cover as the Urban Decay Naked Skin one, but I do think it's good. I was actually looking for a concealer that I could use like kind of on an everyday when I'm not gonna really wear heavy makeup. Um, I think the finish is really nice and it's pretty lightweight, but it still has a good amount of coverage. So I really liked that. Um, some of the products, like I said, I've tried and then some I haven't. For example, I have the Kat Von D, the Locket Setting Powder. My current powder that I use to set my makeup and to bake is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm sure that's like everyone's favorite. When this came out, I was really excited for it. It did sell out, so when I saw that it was back in stock, I figured I'd order it. So I ordered this from online. Haven't tried it yet because I'm thinking of saving it for a like first impressions video. I've been seeing like lots of people lately are doing videos on like first impressions like full face. So I figured I could try that, save that for that. So let me know what you guys think if you guys would want to see that. This would also be part of the first impressions video is the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I was really excited because I haven't tried, I don't think I've tried an Urban Decay foundation. I might have tried the Naked Skin one, but I think it's just too late for me, so I never really gravitated towards that one. But I was really excited for this one because it is full coverage, long wear, matte finish, it's waterproof, and it's oil free. So it's a lot of good things in this foundation. I've heard good things about it so far. I haven't tried it, like I said, yet. I'm just saving it for a video to see. Um, I did order it first in the shade 3.0, but this color is very light. That's one thing I have to say if you guys are looking into getting this. Um, the color range starts off really, really light. Uh, I can't remember if it really goes dark. I think it does go pretty dark, but they have a ton of light shades. So like me, I am pretty fair. I'm always, I've always, like I, you guys see, I'm in light in this one. I'm in light warm in Urban Decay. Like I've always, I'm obviously light. So I thought the 3.0 would be good when I ordered it online and it's 
clearly a little too light for me like it's I that's why I didn't even try it at first but I went to the store and I forgot it so I wasn't able to return it or exchange it but I got a shade darker in 4.0 this one I have to say I think it's going to be a good match but I don't really know until I try it but I'm pretty sure so that would be a recommendation if you guys are pretty light just know that they have a ton of light colors which is good but you might not be what you normally would think so there's that what else oh another foundation that I wanted to try was the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick I got it in the color Bisque I'm not really too I think this one might be a little bit I think I got a color that was a little bit warmer or just a slight darker because I kind of like to be a little darker sometimes so <laughs> but I think it'll match pretty well so I got this one I've heard good things about it um, I love Sarai recently said on her snapchat that she really liked it however she did recommend not to wear it like if you're gonna be outside all day so I'm guessing it probably doesn't hold that well in like the heat so I'll have to see and let you guys know what I think about that. And then I also got the Cover FX Correct. One of them is a Cover Click Cream Foundation and a Cover Click Cream Corrector. So the corrector I got in Peach, I haven't tried it yet. I've been wanting to try it like a peach corrector just because it's obviously good for under your eyes and like to cover dark circles. So this one, let me swatch it for you guys. I haven't used it yet don't really know why I think I keep forgetting to use it so maybe I'll use it tomorrow or in a video or something but let me swatch that so you guys could see that right there it doesn't really show up that well in the camera because it well I mean it's a peach color it's pretty light um, it's more for the peacher tones are more for the like fair skin if you were a little bit darker you would want to do more of a um, the like red tone the deeper like orange tones which they do have. They have them in, they have yellow, purple, green, peach, and then they have like the orangey red color for the darker skin tones. And then, so this one is the Cover Click Cream Foundation. So it's a stick also. This I got in the color G70. So I wanted this mainly to contour. So that's what I've been using it for lately. Um, I've been using the Cover FX um, contour palette. You can get like a highlighting contour palette. Um, I got it at Sephora. I had used that for like, I don't know how long it's lasted me, but I didn't really feel like buying the whole palette again, considering I only used two colors from the palette. Okay, so as I was saying, this is the palette that I have for the cover effects. I use this for highlight and contour. Well, I was. I'm completely out of these two now. So I wanted basically something to replace this, and I saw that they had the little sticks, and I like the idea of just using a stick. It's a lot easier, so I've actually do really like this I got this one in the color G70 so I got that to replace that I really like it so far next I also got from Kat Von D the locket concealer the locket cream concealer I got in the color light 7 warm this one color is actually really really nice I only used it once um, I haven't been using it as much but I noticed that it is really really thick I did like it though. It is really thick formulation though, so it's kind of something to get used to. Um, if you think the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer is thick, you might not like this one. I think it's great for highlighting. That's probably all I would use it for though, is like I think I would apply just a little bit of this, so that's probably why I haven't been using it as much. I do like it, and I know that I'll probably be repurchasing it once I finish this, but it's just I don't think it's a good every day I think this is good if like you're gonna do like full-on glam or you just are gonna use a little bit for highlight next I got some fun stuff from Urban Decay these are the new razor sharp liquid eyeliners I've been dying to buy glitter eyeliners and I was actually going to buy the ones from Makeup Forever and I remember going into the store and looking and Makeup Forever for some reason my that Sephora I went to, they didn't have like the full collection of Makeup Forever and I mean I know it's obviously that's not like a big surprise not all the Sephora's have everything but I just thought it was weird because they had no liquid liners at all like not even the black one so I started walking around and then I remembered my friend also had the Urban Decay the glitter liner so I was gonna go look at those and I saw that they came out with these so in these I picked up the color perversion which is just a jet black 
I haven't used it yet, but I'm really excited to. I had to order this one because they didn't have it in the store. It was sold out. But I can definitely tell these are going to be really nice. The next colors, I got Space Boy, Gold Rush, and Intergalactic. So these are all like metallic-y gold colors. Not gold, glitter colors. But let's see, I'll swatch this one for you guys. Space Cowboy. It looks like this. It's pretty, it's a good size, I mean, but obviously this is just like all the brush right here. So that's that one right there. You can kind of see it's like a little shimmer. I think I'll put a better swatch for you guys though because you can't really see it there. I'll have to see what it looks like like with flash. But in person and like I, I'm seeing it in the light, it looks really pretty. It's a pretty like beigey gold color. That's um, Space Cowboy. Next one I got is Intergalactic. This one is, I believe it's like a pink color. So these I think will be great to do like looks with like glitter liner like you can a lot of people are doing glitter liner like in the crease or just to use it in place of your black eyeliner or to use it like over top of a shadow but that one is really pretty. See that right there it's a really pretty pinky purple color one and then the one that I absolutely love is called Gold Rush. So this one is a really true gold. I think this was the first one that I tried and I immediately like fell in love and I was like, okay, I'm buying whatever colors I like. And that's really it for makeup. The two, these are two random little things that I got. Um, I'm really into like masks and skincare lately. So um, I saw these, these were I think $4. Are they $4? I don't really see. I think they were $4 and you could get like four of them like make your own little pack of them but I just wanted to try this one out. I got two. It's the Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. So they're just like little sample sizes. Um, but I mean honestly this is probably good use for me for like two times. So I got two of them. But it was like four dollars I think. So I believe that's everything. My most favorite thing that I'm excited for are these liners. Like I probably will do a look with these soon. And I need to do, a, I probably will for sure do a video with the Kat Von D stuff. I'll probably try it with the foundations and do like a first impression for you guys of these two. Maybe, um, and I'll include like the light, the concealer and things like that. So you guys will see these products in the next couple of videos. I'll mention them and let you guys know what I thought about them. Whatever ones I haven't tried, I'll probably do like a first impression video. But, oh, I forgot this one. I actually got the Urban Decay Razor Sharp Liquid Eyeliner in white too, but it's called Bump, but it's just a white. Let me swatch that one for you guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, just so you know, the white one doesn't really come out that great. It's not as pigmented as you would think. The black one is, though. Let me just go ahead and show you guys that one. Let me swatch that one. That one is really dark. Like, it's just so, like, and it's so... Oh, nice. that's everything for the Sephora haul. Like I said, I ordered a couple things. Some of it was ordered online and some of it was in the store. Um, I will be doing videos on first impressions on the Kat Von D setting powder and then on the Urban Decay foundation. Comment below if you guys have tried any of these products, if any of them are your favorite, if you really like them, or if you guys don't like any of them, let me know so I know in advance. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Like I said, I will be doing it first impressions. I have a makeup look coming up too, so be on the lookout for that. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Because I noticed it has a little K um, zipper here. So the first thing we're going to go over is the Kai Liner Kit. This is the birthday edition 